and welcome back to the Science Factory's YouTube channel. We've been really excited to start doing art projects, but we have so many types of videos that we want to do, so we haven't gotten to it yet. But today we're going to change that with these really cool paper plate marble mazes that you can make at home. In order to make a marble maze, you're going to need a few different materials, but it's up to you which materials you'd like to use. We decided to mostly use plastic straws and strips of paper, but you might want to try some other materials as well, like pipe cleaners or popsicle sticks. Let us know if you have other ideas in the comments down below. We'd love to hear what materials you use. The first marble maze that I made is this one here, and as you can see I made it out of paper strips that are taped to the plate, and then I also glued a handle to the bottom so that you can try playing by holding onto the handle. This adds an extra challenge compared to using two hands. You can also decide to put numbers on each one, as well as an arrow to show which direction you have to go through and make a sort of mini croquet course like this. In this one, we used plastic straws and Elmer's glue to create a path, and I liked it so much that I decided to make a second one. The first thing that I did is cut our straws into different length pieces. That way we had a variety of different lengths of straw to create our marble maze and make it more interesting. I also decided to put a start and a finish line on each of them. You can see an example of how I did that with both plates here. One of my favorite things about this activity is that students spend so much time online these days and playing games on their phone. And this is something that's really similar to a game you can play on your phone, but it's a way to get students to interact with things in real life and get to create something from scratch instead of just spending their time on their phone. One final thing that you can do to make your paper plate marble maze really, really cool is to cut holes in it. I decided to do this after I made the maze so that I could film the video with the paper plate still intact. But that ended up being a pretty bad idea because it was hard to cut these holes without dislodging the straws. A couple of them fell off and I had to re-glue. So if you're going to do holes, I would recommend that you use a pencil to draw the lines of where your straws are going to go and then draw the circles and cut them out before you put the paper plate maze together. One other thing about cutting holes is that it's kind of difficult to cut nice looking holes, so if you want them to be nice and round like this, I would recommend getting a hole punch. I've included a link for a hole punch set in the description down below. Once you're done with your marble maze, it's time to test it out. Oh no! Well, that's all I've got for you guys today. My name is Mr. Brian, and I'll see you guys in a future video. What kind of straws make the best yoga instructors? Bendy straws. Last year for Halloween, I decided to dress up as a marble statue, but everyone just took me for granted. <laughs>